you know it's you and me who get to decide the future of astravars not ranveer kapoor not amitabh bachchan not alia bhat it's you and me because you and i are the cinema lover the cinema goer who don't really give a fuck about these fucking twitter trends of boycott and what not it's up to us what's in store in the future so yeah just go and watch the film form your own opinion hello everyone welcome back to all things cinema podcast um this is an interesting one so let me start with a disclaimer first i have worked on brahmastra in the last few weeks you might know if you follow the channel closely i was working for pritam da on uh, the score as the backing vocals coordinator and a vocalist if if you have seen the film all the sanskrit shlokas and the chants that you hear throughout the film i was a part of that and let me be honest you know when when we were working on the film i had a hunch i had a gut feeling that this is something out of the world this is something that we have not heard or seen before in indian cinema because of the little bit of footage that i got to see and it was still un, it was still an unfinished product back then mind you and i think i was right yesterday when i watched the whole film in the theater you know uh with with the score the complete score of the film i just felt the same so a huge huge shout out first of all to the vfx and the cgi department for not letting us down for keeping up to our expectations and of course the music team as well for doing such a fabulous job i mean it's not easy they have spent a lot of years literally a lot of years hundreds of people coming together to bring this whole vision to life so and and it is definitely a spectacle that is meant to be experienced in proper cinema hall settings and not at home for sure so please do not wait for this film to come to ott and then watching it on your smaller screen and little bit of sound or whatever now i know as a neutral commentator on the film i should not just leave it here right i i no it's not all hunky dory but this is not the first film to have its fair share of flaws and definitely this is not going to be the last one as well no film is perfect i mean who are we kidding there's no such thing called a perfect film not even the mcu in its infancy when it was in its formative years it was not anywhere near what it is today So this isn't one of you, one of those reviews where I want I would want my personal opinion to manipulate your decision of whether you should go to cinema or not to watch this film. This is one of those situations where I would want everybody to go f- and you know just form their own opinion what they liked what they didn't because as i said this is something never seen before so including uh, um you know the reviewers we trust like for example if you trust me as a reviewer even for me this was a first time watch right so i would want you to go and experience it first of course there are flaws in the film every review would have told you the the good and the bad of uh, brahmastra i know i I'm, i mean i'm i'm not really undermining the flaws which are quite a few mind you there there are quite a few flaws for example the lack of chemistry between the lead pair it just didn't feel as organic as it would have felt you know in some of the other ayan mukherjee's film like for example wake up sid was one film where the chemistry and the dynamics in in that love story was so so organic and so pure you just you just rooted for them and here it it just didn't sit well with me and um of course you know the inconsistency in the tonality of of the language which which kept switching from english to urdu to hindi to bombaiya language and a lot of characters you know just coming and going without adding much substance or depth or you know uh, or value to the main narrative so a lot of these things just took away the attention in in between from the point ayan mukherjee wanted to make or the bigger picture pun intended i mean 
at times you would feel that this is just a run of a mill bollywood film going on with all these love songs coming in boy meets girls and falls for her immediately and you know that the next day just she just forgets everything just leaves everything behind including her family and just goes with him and helps him explore himself and understand himself find his uh true purpose something which we have seen in ranbir kapoor's films before so kind of a deja vu you know despite all these flaws i would still acknowledge the fact that ayan mukherjee gave a decade of his life of his career to bring this whole vision to life thousands of people worked hard over a decade on this grand magnum opus which deserves at least one neutral watch just for the sheer amount of heart they've put in the efforts they've put into give india and indians our own homegrown desi cinematic universe because you know uh, this is just the beginning of astraverse right with endless possibilities in the trilogy and who knows what's more to come in the future so yeah just go and watch the film form your own opinion and if you have already seen the film just put in the comments what you felt about it i mean if if this is something at least a step in the right direction of course there's room for improvement but if you believed in that vision of astraverse you know then then sky is the limit and um if you have not seen the film do not let any reviewer or me decide for you whether you go to the cinema or not it's up to you and if you go to a theater near you then i'm sure part 2 deva will definitely be coming in a few years after part 1 shiva so yeah thank you for watching the video i just hope that you uh watch this film and um keep subscribing keep supporting me here and also my music channel the link of which is in the description i guess it i sh- it should be there so uh, i'll probably see you next time